This is another film in our series of easy vegan bakery recipes. I'm going to show you how to make a great uh, vegan puff which you can eat on a run, you can have for lunch or even go take it on a picnic. So let's get baking. So for the full recipe and uh, tips of how to make this product click on the link below. Uh, what we do, we add our flour, we add our salt, we add our water, we add a dough hook, we put it on our mixer and we mix for 10 minutes on medium speed. Now it's been 10 minutes, 10 minutes. you can see the bowl is nice and clean at the bottom. We take our dough out of our bowl, we place it onto a floured top. Just bring it over the edges to make a ball and we place it in a floured bowl and we put it in the fridge for half an hour so it has time to relax. Well, what I've done is taken the marge out of the fridge one hour beforehand so it's time to soften up so it's easier to use. We take one piece of paper we put our marge on it Then we take a second piece of paper, place on the top, and now you can have fun by just softening it down and making it uh, flat. So enjoy yourselves. Now we are ready to put it in our dough. And of course we always put it on a nice flour top, uh, uh, top so it doesn't stick. As you can see it's nice and extensive. You need to, while we let it rest, it's because if we roll it out straight away, the pastry will just shrink and we won't be able to put, uh, we won't be able to roll it out uh, at all. Now we're going to add uh, margarine to the dough. What I've done is cut it into an oblong shape. Now I'm going to put it on one half of our pastry but the other bits I've cut off I just use it to fill in the, the squares we need to make sure we cover the whole section it's great fun because you get your hands nice and uh, sticky and then what we do we bring over the other half on top of this half so it covers the dough nice, covers the butter, well the margarine nice. Now we're going to start to layer our dough, because what we're looking for, we need uh, 729 layers, and these layers will make the dough nice and flaky. So what we're going to do is what we call a three-fold turn. So what we do, we roll out our dough, always trying to keep it nice and square, or oblong and make sure your top is well floured as well otherwise uh, it will stick to your top then we bring over one, one half we brush off the excess flour then we bring over the other half with the other third it's the same we brush the flour off and that's what we call a one uh, turn now we need to do six like this so that's the first one we now do another one it's the same we just roll it out and then once again we bring it over brush off the excess flour Keep it nice and uh, straight. Bring over the other side. So we'll come back later after this has come out of the fridge. Well, it's been half an hour. The dough's been resting in the fridge. Now we're going to roll it out and do another two three-fold turns. 
So here we go, brush off the excess flour. One third, the other side, one third. So there we've got three. Again, we brush the flour off. Bring it over to one quarter, no one third, the other third. Now we put it back in the fridge for another 30 minutes, so we'll be back later on. Well, now it's been another half an hour. We're going to put some more, the last two folds. There we go, uh, six folds are now done. So we put it back in the fridge for another half an hour. Just then it relaxes so we can then uh, roll it out later on to uh, make our puffs. Well, now we're going to prepare the vegetables uh, to put inside the puff. Uh, it's best to use always vegetables which are in season. So today I'm going to use Carrots, spinach, peas, cauliflower, purple cauliflower, broccoli, and some courgette. So we just chop them up into small pieces, and then we're going. To, it's best to use fresh product. You get either from the market, or from the supermarket, or from a green grocery store. The cauliflower we just cut off into the little buds. The leaves off and just break it into little chunks like this. Now we've cut up our vegetables, you can see it's nice and colourful uh, in our bowl. What we're going to do, we're going to put it in, some, uh, in a saucepan with just plain water with a pinch of salt. We're going to use rock salt because it gives extra flavour. And then we're going to do is put it on the heat to bring it to the boil. When it comes off the boil, we take it off and we strain uh, the water. It's just well, as the vegetables are coming to the boil, we're going to prepare a red onion because this we don't uh, boil beforehand. We just uh, take off the skins. And then with the onions, we put them in a bowl. Now the vegetables have come to the boil, we just take the heat off and we strain the water. And now we've put our vegetables in our bowl, we give it a mix, so we're mixing the onions. And then what we're going to do, we're going to season it. So we add a couple of pinches of pepper, a couple of pinches of salt. And we add some curry powder. It's the same, uh, you add as much or as little as you like, uh, depending on your taste. Some people like it very strong, some people don't. Let me give it a good mix. Now you can really smell the curry. It smells very really nice. And then what we do, we add some olive oil. This is the olive oil is what's going to cook uh, the rest of the vegetables uh, whilst it's uh, in the oven uh, baking. The same we put it in and we get a good give it a good mix all over so it's everything's covered in olive oil. Well now our pastry's been resting again for half an hour so it's nice and relaxed. We're going to uh, roll it out uh, so we so we start to now make a filling. Things. Now there we've rolled out our pastry. This is about uh, two millimeters thick. 
and on our website which you can click on the link below uh, on the recipe sheet uh, you have a template uh, uh, it makes it easier for cutting uh, your pieces out so it keeps it uh, regular and what we do we just cut into 12 by 12 centimeter squares all along our pastry uh, which you can either use a knife or you can use a pastry cutter So what we do, we make a bottom and a top. That's why we always try to keep the pastry uh, as square as possible, or oblong as possible, and then afterwards it's easier to cut the pieces out. As you can see, it's really easy, it's child's play. Very simple. So these bits here, I put them in the freezer for next time and then next time I make some I just add it to the mixer when I add my water and flour at the beginning but well, now we're going to uh, put our filling uh, into a uh, pastry so we just move up the tops of our dough and then with a pastry brush with water we just dampen the edge one centimeter all the way around we do this so when we put the tops on it sticks like glue otherwise in the oven what would happen the top will come flying off and the bottom will stay uh, on the on the tin now what we do we take a vegetable filling we put a nice chunky bits in the middle it's the same put lots because when it bakes in the oven it will basically uh, reduce in size it won't disappear you just reduce in size it's the same we try to put a good variety of vegetables uh, so you get nice lots of color taste and uh, it's enjoyable to eat uh. and then what we do we just put the tops on uh, we push down really harder so it's nice and closed so it closes nicely now if you have uh, any other recipes you want us to do uh, leave a comment uh, on the comment section at the bottom of the page uh, so we can try out uh, different uh, vegan uh, products for you to make a nice film so afterwards uh, you can see how these things are done once your pastry is like this what you can do if you don't want them all for today you want to some for another day put them in the freezer and then uh, you can uh, take them out another time what to do now is put them on our baking tray and as I'm going to use them today I'm going to so we're going to <coughs> use them today. We're going to leave them in the fridge again for another couple of hours. Why we leave them for another couple of hours? Because now the pastry is a bit tired, a bit stressed out. It needs time just to relax so it doesn't shrink when we come to bake the product off later. Now we're going to uh, wash the product, the puff, before we stick it in the oven. I'm using a soya based milk. So it will give a nice shine when we come to when it comes to baking in the oven. So when we cut, we just want to score the top. We don't want to cut all the way down. It's only to make a decorative. Uh, uh, and we put a hole in the middle only. So we let the steam out of all the the humidity from the vegetables. Now we're going to stick it in the oven at uh, 200 degrees. It takes about 45 minutes to bake. Well here we have our final product uh, out of the oven. As you can see it's a nice golden brown. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can keep up to date with all our new uh, videos. And we hope to see you soon again soon. Bye.